hi youtubers something important so something kind of damn important so uh, anyway i want to talk about youtube right now so uh, youtube as well as a couple other websites uh, now this has to do with ads on youtube as well as other websites like rumble uh, i watch both youtube and rumble uh, big ass rumble and big ass youtube uh, now i want to talk about ads now you may say are you talking about ad apocalypse no hell no am i talking about ad friendly guidelines hell no what I'm talking about here is essentially misleading ads or clickbait. Now, I think most people know what clickbait is, and I'm talking about misleading ads. I've been seeing on both YouTube and Rumble some misleading ads. Now, obviously, there'll always be spam, you know, crap spam, shit spam on any website. I mean, any website like Rumble or YouTube, any decently big social media website, there will always be spam, spam bots, et cetera, et cetera. It's a natural phenomenon, a natural problem with social media. However, there have been ads by news companies, nothing big like Fox News or NBC or ABC or CBS News, nothing like that. But specifically, these smaller ad companies, which I'm not going to mention the names because that is against YouTube's rules. I'm not going to mention names because that's considered to be doxing. But I'm just going to say they are smaller ad companies, like smaller news companies. And they're not like CBS or like, you know, Disney or like, you know, ABC or like, you know, NBC or the Today Show, anything like that. Like a big, like, um, you know, NECN, like a big, like, news company. They're smaller news companies, like smaller, like, like news uh, websites. And they have these uh, ads and it might say, for example, I'm not going to mention specifics. I'm not going to say the exact um, stories they're advertising, but something along the lines of, let's say, a certain restaurant is going out of business. You know, get your food now before this restaurant goes out of business. And so I Googled, you know, is this restaurant, you know, X, Y, and Z restaurant going out of business? And Google says, no, plain and simple. The restaurant is staying in business. Uh, purely a rumor. I'm like, that kind of pisses me off. It's like, you know, uh, yeah, you have this ad on YouTube and YouTube has been so tough on us uh, as YouTube users, uh, the whole ad apocalypse thing, you know, uh, what we can and cannot say on YouTube as in terms of ad friendly guidelines. Uh, I mean, for a better word, the ad friendly guidelines are so fucking strict, you know, uh, and yet on YouTube, you have these misleading clickbait ads, which are allowed on YouTube. And when you Google, like, is X, Y, and Z restaurant going out of business, it you, you find nothing, like jack shit nothing. It's like, you know, like you Google, you know, Google News or like, you know, whatever news, it says nothing about the restaurant going out of business. I don't know, I'll give an example, like McDonald's or like Burger King. Uh, it might say like, you know, McDonald's going out of business, you know, get your food now. Uh, and you Google is McDonald's going out of business. Uh, and it says, no, purely a rumor, uh, purely a uh, rumor. So it's like it's purposely clickbaiting and misleading information, uh, trying to get you to click on this ad because it, it's trying to get you to think, oh, McDonald's or KFC or Taco Bell, or whatever restaurant is supposedly, air quote, supposedly going out of business. And it turns out to be BS. It turns out to be complete bullshit because when you actually go on Google itself and you actually type in is, I don't know, McDonald's going out of business and you find nothing, you find nothing, no news story from no reliable, you know, reliable news story that McDonald's or, you know, the fish market restaurant is going out of business. You know, I was giving an example. Obviously, I'm not, obviously the ads weren't referring to McDonald's or KFC or Taco Bell. I was just using that as an example because I didn't want to actually dox the brand. So, or for example, it might say on these misleading ads, oh, um, this person has uh, tragic news they're uh, revealing. So uh, I'm not going to say the person's name because obviously, again, that's doxing. Uh, but, uh, you know, the person might be, I don't know, Jane Doe or Tara Doe 
has tragic, tragic news uh, she's revealing. This uh, tragic news will shock the world. And when you actually Google Jane Doe or John Doe, who has tragic news, you find jack shit nothing. It's like, you know, like WTF. It's like, you know, that was total clickbait. It's like, you know, and that should not be allowed on YouTube. I mean, if they're going to be so hard on us, you know, so hard ass like the big ass they are on us on, you know, for our ads, you know, I mean, I have to comply with the ad-friendly guidelines if I want to make money off my videos. Why are they allowing these videos on YouTube, or these, sorry, these ads on YouTube, sorry, ads on YouTube that are misleading? I mean, I mean, one of the ad-friendly guidelines is misleading or deceptive content is not allowed on YouTube. And I would presume on Rumble also, it's not allowed. You're not allowed to you know, promote uh, deceptive or misleading or, or clickbait content. I mean, YouTube has very damn strict policies about spam. You know, not spam the food, but spam like email spam. And yeah, I mean, why is YouTube allowing these ads? Probably because they make money. Most likely because they make money. It's like, you know, yeah, but it's like, it's real, it's all clickbait. And I would not click them if I were you. I would definitely not click them because Holy hell, I mean, it could be a virus, it could be, I mean, who the hell knows, it's like, you know, I would not click them in any way, shape, or form, and again, I'm not going to mention the exact names of the ads, or the exact names of the companies, or the exact, uh, you know, names of the restaurants, or people who they're talking about, because obviously that's doxing, you know, and I don't want to get in trouble for mentioning the names. All I will say is it might say something along the lines of, you know, I don't know, you know, J Joe's Fish Market or Joe's Tavern is going out of business. Uh, find out news about this and click here. And when you actually Google is Joe's Tavern going out of business, you find out it's total BS and that ad was, was clickbait. So that's what I'm saying. I use McDonald's and Burger King as an example, as an analogy to avoid getting in trouble for, you know, quote unquote, doxing those ads, which I don't know. So anyway, I'm getting off topic here. So I think it's really, it's really fucking ridiculous that YouTube allows, YouTube allows these ads when they're so strict on us. I mean, if I uploaded spam, if I uploaded spam content, obviously I get in trouble. It's like, you know, if I get in trouble for uploading spam content, then I think these ad people should get in trouble for uploading spam content or clickbait content. I mean, YouTube has rules against clickbait. They have rules against spam. Why Why the hell should these advertisers get away with it? It's like, you know, anyway, pretty fucking cool. Bye.